Tom, tell us about this banshee. That banshee built it from the ground up, me and my boys. I uh, was working on it with Dan Hall before he passed. Them are the last cylinders Dan Hall will ever pour. They were done four days before he passed. They are a pretty hardcore port job. 66, 25 bore. Uh, driveline cut the domes. 4 mil long rod, 34 PJs, Pro Mod trains, CPIs. And stock cylinder. Stock cylinder. Yep, and then we commemorated the bike to Dan. Uh, he's helped me pick the colors out, and we're actually going to build a bike in his shop. Heck yeah. And we're just kind of taking a picture for a thumbnail of all four of them here, but I'm going to ride the yellow one here, rip it for a little bit here. My uncle's being a little bit of a crybaby about dust today, so ain't going to be too long of a video. I don't want him coming over here bitching like a little titty baby. Advice, dude. It runs so good. That is by far the fastest stock cylinder I've ever rode to date. That thing runs. Super fun bike. And make you breathe a little hard too. It'll work you out. It'll give you a workout for sure. It will give you a workout. And it does got pod filters on it too. Yeah. Which you can see. K and N's. And the crazy thing is, is that's 34 millimeter carbs. Yes, PJs. PJs. It's got little shocks all the way around. And that's Tom. Tom owns it. And that's his boy. Uh, it's just, I mean, everything's been touched. It was ground up built. Yeah, and it there rides like a brand piece. new four wheeler, too. There ain't one piece that hasn't been had hands laid on it. Took longer to build than expected, but. Right. And it's well worth it. Right. I think I found my aftermarket set of front tires I like. These I like the tires. tires. They don't sling a lot of crap on you. Now what gear ends on this? 1442. So that's one down in the rear, right? No, it's two up in the rear from stock. Two up in the rear. 1440. So it'd be faster on top end. Or geared down. It's geared down a little geared bit. Geared down, okay. Geared down a little bit. Laying the drive line said 1444 being a bigger guy, but after we all rode it up there and Bill rode it, you rode it, I don't think it needs I don't no. think we need to All go it needs is leave and left think alone. The launch is pretty good where it's at. There you go. That's who ported it. If you can ever find some of his cylinders, you better buy them. Alright, well, how to cover that video. That's Tom. He owns it. Bad ride. Waylon. Waylon. That's his boy. 
They, they come down from Michigan down here at the house and we went to Durham town, which you'll see in some of the other videos, but we had to leave because it started freaking raining down there. Uh, other than that, we had fun. We're gonna have to plan some more. But I kid you not, I've Randy Randy Bass had the fastest stock cylinder that I've rode to date till I rode this. That thing right there is a booking it. She gets down. Very, very good. Till next time, y'all have a good one. Why you have it? And by the way, this is 93 octane in this four. This is a fast freaking fuller for 93 octane boys. Most of them that I've rode that's very fast is like nasty, 110. Even Randy's had a uh, mix of race gas, if I'm not mistaken. And if you ain't seen Randy's run, you can go back. It's on some of the videos. He had a couple different builds, but he had a fast one. And I've rode some fast racing banshees with $5,000 builds, and I'm going to tell you right now, this is a whole lot faster. Dan, Dan must have known exactly what he was doing. Matter of fact, what did Dirt Wheels Magazine say about him? PNS Racing, home of the world's fastest 350. Fastest 350. And again, look here. Stock cylinder, 347 cm. Just so you know. But we do need to put a zip tie on that there because it's leaking a little bit of petrol. Is it? That's it. It'll be all right for another ride, then we can stick one on it.